Darren and Sonia, I just spoke with the Southbury Fire Marshal a few minutes ago. He says they're still digging through that rubble back there, just trying to get to the area where they can start their investigation into exactly how and where this fire started. Twelve businesses in all, reduced to what you see behind me, but the people we spoke with today say it could have been worse. The fire started sometime before 1 o'clock this morning. It was discovered by Southbury police officer Anthony Armino. He tells us he was out on routine patrol and saw smoke rising into the air on Main Street South, so he drove here to check it out. When he pulled into the commons, he discovered a massive fire. The flames were large in the corner of the building. Um, I'd say at least 50 to 100 feet at some of the, the flames. It was uh, extremely high. He called dispatch and started going door to door at this 12 business commercial complex, making sure nobody was inside. Luckily, no one was hurt. Southbury, Woodbury, Sandy Hook, and Oxford Fire Departments responded. The first crews got here within 10 minutes of the call, but the flames were spreading quickly. The fire appears to have hit the outside porch area and spread across the porch and the exterior siding. It did get up into attic space, which then did send it throughout the building. It took more than two hours to knock down the flames, which appear to have started in the corner of the L-shaped building. Sue Edmond teaches at the Southbury Driving Academy, one of the businesses destroyed. It's a setback, but she's trying to get the message out to her students that classes will continue at their school in Waterbury. Starting in January, February, you start getting more students, and you feel good because the business is getting better with this economy, but now, as long as we get them back down in Waterbury and know that we're still there, we'll be okay. And tonight on News 8 at 6, we're going to check back in with the South Ferry Fire Marshal to find out if there's any new information on the cause of this fire. This thing broke out at 1 o'clock this morning. Some of these crews have been here since that time, so they are exhausted. We'll also hear more about why this investigation today has been so painstaking. We're live on the scene in South Ferry. Ted Coppy, News 8.